okay? Um, I say that to say that to believe that once you accept Christ as your Lord and Savior, that there's nothing more, that grace has now covered everything, right? To say that, you're deceiving yourself. Huh? You are putting yourself in danger, okay? And anyone who may be looking up to you, who may be following you, it's your children, okay? That's your family members, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, mom and dads, if they're not already saved. You understand what I'm saying? Because if no. you believe that God died for you, and so now all the sins that you commit are just covered, and there's nothing more to that, all righty? And this is the life that you project, and you still carry his name on your lips, okay? There are going to be people who follow you straight to hell, because that's not how it works. You can unequivocally lose salvation. I'll say Yeah, so uh, two things here. You know, obviously, she's saying that you can lose your salvation, that the grace of God does not fully give you grace, and that the blood of Jesus does not cover all your sin and I just want to show a couple of verses here oh let's see let's go to first John here you know what there's actually another one I want to go to uh, here is love not that we loved God but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins and not ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. All right, so he's going to cover, he covers all of our sin. So on Judgment Day, we are counted righteous because of our faith. And because we have faith, the blood of Jesus covers our sin. And we, God does not impute sin upon us. And hence, unless you are born of the Spirit of God, you cannot enter into the kingdom of God. You must be born of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. So I want to go on the flip side here and say, uh, you know, these people should not be taken lightly. And, and there's, you know, these guys that preach against us uh, you know it was foretold to us in the Bible and I just want to point out to this one particular verse I mean we could give we could go two hours on this right but uh, Revelation 12 verse 10 and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ for the accuser of our brethren is cast down which accused them before God day and night and that's look that's all she's doing and she's not the only one to be fair she's not the only one there's a billion people out there like her accusing us of not being perfect well you're not perfect right I'm not perfect that the whole reason the whole purpose of the law is to show us that we're not perfect that's why we need a savior right the law is there to show us or to to uh, lead us to faith in Christ and once faith has come we are no longer under the law if you understand that then you understand this woman this poor soul all she's doing is accusing us meanwhile she's not perfect either she does not live up to the standards that she puts on others okay anyway we could do this for hours Right, if we go to Matthew 23. Woe unto you, scribes, Pharisees, hypocrites! You shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. 
You, you believe once saved, always saved? No. You're going to hell. You shut up kingdom, the kingdom of heaven, against men. For you neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye that are entering to go in.